Hi. Okay, so I can't go live because I'm multitasking right now, big time multitasking. Um, so I'm going to record this. I'm, I'm literally on my business line. It's, it's on. That's why I have this on. Um, but I'm going to take this time to send this out and record this. And, and if I get through it all, um, I'll upload it for you guys and hopefully it will help you. Um, I'm going to have you just look at this while I speak. Just look at all the crystals. I don't know what you're going to get out of it, but you're just you're going to look at at that. Okay, so we have made bold, loud, affirmative statements to the world, right? We've said, "I am whole. I am powerful. I'm perfect just the way I am. I choose to look for the good in everything. I choose to allow myself some fun. I choose to put myself first. I honor the work that I have done, and I know that I deserve all the best that the universe can bestow upon me." And then we wake up this morning to one crisis after another. Mercury is absolutely playing havoc with us. But that's not all. Ah, there's our little hummingbird. She's gonna take a, take a drink. Okay, so we're taking a drink here. This is what I'm doing with you guys. I'm gonna give you what I do for myself. Not only is Mercury playing havoc with everything, it's, it's a, this is a time of review. This is a time to see what works for us and what doesn't. Um, and when we're doing this, when we're still vibrating, I said this before, when we're still vibrating with the difficulty of something that we've already been dealing with and we've just come through, the universe will throw another test at us because we're still vibrating in that frequency. So they're testing our resolve. Are we going to slide backwards into our old programming? Will we choose to react instead of choosing to be the action? The time we choose to allow ourselves is now that we, you know that we, we chose to allow ourselves. We, we were going to have some fun. We were going to have some downtime, relax, put ourselves first for a change. We know that we deserve this. We know that we've been we've been overworking. Spirit's been telling us that we've been we really need to put our work aside and 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 heal and 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 go in. So when we choose to do that, all of a sudden. Everything is taken up by one crisis after another that seems to need our immediate attention, right? Now it seems like our needs must be once again put on hold. So what do we do now? What do we do now? This is what I do. I have a CD that was my mother's. It's called Now Healing. I am now healing. You can look it up online. I'm not stealing this. I am giving credit for the company that this, I will show it to you. This is my CD, okay? I am now healing. Um, it's from, the address is P.O. Box 39486, Los Angeles, California, 90039, USA. The phone number, 323-309-7687. This disc, my mother got years and years and years ago. And when she died, I, I had several of her, her things. She had so many metaphysical and spiritual things that were helpful for me. The, uh, as I said, the, doc, the box flower remedies. There were so many things, and I had everything in a storage unit. And almost everything um, that was, I mean, the storage unit was sold. They accidentally or inadvertently or suspiciously, it was suspicious, sold my storage unit. So it was gone. Everything, everything that, I, that I had in there that was of any value was taken. All of my spiritual work, my mother's spiritual work, my family photo albums, everything of value of mine was st stolen. And I had a lawsuit. I was in the lawsuit for two years, and it ended up being that um, somebody, they, they were crooked, it went sideways, and I got very little for it. Basically, this was all just a big test. It's all going test for, for me, for, for my resolve. What am I going to do? Am I going to rely on to the universe? Because everything I had was, was taken, right? So this was in my car because I choose to listen to this to build myself up. I've shared it before with, with certain people, but I'm going to share it with you now. I'm going to speak the words because it would take too long for me to do it on, on the CD for you to follow along. She speaks too quietly. So this is what I do. When I get into this place, I have to change my thinking. Okay? I'm going to alter my perception of reality. So I affirm these statements. I let go of overthinking. I let go of overreacting. I let go of obsessing. No need for denial. No need for defensiveness. No need to overguard. No need for negative reactions. I release all habitual thinking. I release all habitual opinions. 
I release all habitual beliefs, limiting ancestral beliefs, assumptions about the universe, assumptions about ourselves. I let go of judgment of others, of self-judgment, self-criticism. I release ego. I perceive truth. My mind and sense perceptions work together perfectly. I perceive my true self. I am whole. I am now healing my emotions. My emotions are healing. I release all fear. I release all anger. I release all blame. I release all self-blame. I release all resentment. I let go of grief. I let go of guilt. I let go of sadness. I disconnect from confusion. I disconnect from misunderstanding. I release the need to seek revenge. I forgive unconditionally. I forgive myself unconditionally. I disconnect from other people's negative emotions. I disconnect from the collective negative emotions. I align with unconditional love. I align with moods of high vibration. Unconditional self-love. I resonate with joy. I align with appreciation. I vibrate with gratitude. I discern infinite possibility. I change for the better. My love and joy heal me. My love and joy heal the universe. I am now healing my emotions. I am now healing my spirit. I am my true self. My true self guides my being. I am my God self. I am now healing my whole energy field from the infinitely small energies to the infinitely cosmic energies. I am now healing each layer of my aura, of my etheric body, of my emotional body, of my mental body, of my astral body, my etheric template, celestial template, on towards infinity. I am now healing the energy field of each body part, organ, gland, cell, water molecule, oxygen molecule. I am now healing my chakras, root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, crown, and on towards infinity. My chi flows properly. I am now healing the energy channels within my body. My lung channel, large intestine channel, stomach channel, spleen channel, heart channel, small intestine, bladder, kidney, pericardium, triple burner, gallbladder, liver, governing vessel, conceptual vessel, and on towards infinity. Yin and yang are balanced within us. Yang and yin are forever changing within me. Inner and outer energies are balanced. I interact easily with the energies around me. I am open to receive intuitive information. My psychic sensitivity is balanced. I easily let go of unwanted energies. I am now healing the energy of my relationships to my mother, father, brother, sister, children, life partners, loved ones, friends, and past relationships. I forgive unconditionally. I receive unconditional forgiveness. I forgive myself unconditionally. I am now healing myself in all other dimensions, existences, times, spaces, past, present, future, the eternal now. I am now healing my relationship to abundance, goals, career, and life purpose. I am open to receive support from the universe, from my spiritual guides. I am now healing my energy fields and that of my loved ones, of those who suffer, of all of humanity, of all of life, I transmit unconditional love. I am now healing the energy field of the earth. I am now healing the earth. As we heal the earth, as I heal the earth, I heal myself. We're gonna do this in first person. I slip sometimes. I am a conscious part of the cycle of life. I take in what serves me. As I release, I heal. What I heal, I release. I thank the earth for processing my wastes. The earth heals and regenerates me. I vibrate with the earth's energy. I resonate with the goddess. I thank the earth for the stuff, stuff the earth is made of, the minerals and metals that we use to make and build, the air we breathe, 
We breathe in oxygen and life. So I breathe out what no longer need, I need. I create the atmosphere. The air I breathe in heals me. I heal the air I breathe out. I heal the atmosphere. My body and the earth are one. I am now healing. I am water. I am born of the ocean. Water cleanses me. I cleanse the water. I thank the water inside of me. I thank the water outside of me. I heal oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, springs. I heal the rain. I drink life. Water goes inside each of my cells and water flushes out my waste. I am now healing. I am the green energy of the earth. Growing things heal and nourish me. I thank the trees for air, the plants for food. I am now healing the plant kingdom. I am sunlight. The fire of the sun and stars burns within me. I burn my inner fuel efficiently. I burn my outer fuel efficiently and responsibly. And all of the elements are balanced within me. I, am the, I thank the earth for life, for feeding me, for housing me, clothing me, bearing me. And I love the earth unconditionally. I forgive the earth unconditionally, and I ask the earth for unconditional forgiveness. I am now healing the earth. I am now healing. I am now. I am. This is what I do when the whole world seems to come against me and test my resolve for keeping my vibration high. I can't stop the things that are coming. I can't run from the reality of things that are happening that I must face. I have a cat that is literally starving herself to death in front of me and I have to force feed her. I choose to believe that love heals. I am told by spirit that love heals. I love her. I refuse to let her go. I choose to heal her. I choose to heal myself. I choose to not allow myself to be swept up in the tornado of this vibration that's trying to pull me back into my old way of thinking, my old fear, my old anxiety. I choose to vibrate at a higher level and I use whatever I have in front of me to do that. This CD is one of the things I choose to use. I put, I drink water all the time. I keep myself hydrated. I choose my thoughts. I'm in control of my thoughts. I choose peace. I choose to believe the good in others. I know that if something need, I need to be warned by, about something, it will be shown me. But until then, I choose to see you coming from a place of peace and goodness. I let go, as this, as this CD was saying, of suspicious thinking. I don't want to think suspiciously of others. I don't want to be on the defensive. I choose love. I pull love in. I send love out. I'm giving you guys this CD because I know so many of us are going through this right now. Um, and, and what do you do? Well, this is what I do. This is what I do. So I would suggest you get this CD. I don't know this woman. Um, I just know my mother used to play it all the time. And whenever I am in the eye of the storm <laughs> in the, in the, in the tornado is whipping around me, this is what I go to every single time. So go back. Um, uh, maybe I'll take a picture of it and I'll, and I'll put it on my page. Like I said, this isn't for profit for myself, and if this person can be helped for it, the person that put this out, this person that helped me, then all the, all the more, all the best, right? So, I choose to stay calm in the center of the storm. I am in the eye of the storm, and I watch it go around me, and I am in a place of peace. I know I am guided. I know I am protected. I know the universe knows what my needs are. I am clear when I say I need to be financially supported. I accept that coming to you from you. I accept all of the love and the goodness that, that I deserve and I know I do deserve it. I do my work, I walk my walk and I talk my talk. So I'm sending this out to you guys. Love from my heart and thank you for being my soul family and I hope this helps you. Blessings.